Hey, so everything's going kind of crazy with uh, Free the Nipple in Iceland. It's a feminist movement that is pretty much about women being able to not wear a bra or a top and that shouldn't be a big deal because it's not a big deal with guys, so why should it be with women? Anyway, so I wanted to contribute to that with kind of a Free the Nipple theme to Icelandic book covers. So I found a few. Now, when I was browsing through the Icelandic books, just looking for covers with nipples on them, it seemed to me that most of the time that the cover actually had a nipple on it and not just showed, you know, a little bit of a breast, it was by a female author and when it was a male author, it was most of the time uh, just showing a bit of a boob, you know, a woman holding herself like this or something. But, of course, there wasn't a split or anything like that, it's just I saw more uh, female author books with the nipple and more male author books hiding the nipple. I'm not making a statement or anything, I just thought it was interesting. And actually I found a lot more books by male authors than female authors that had a woman topless on the cover, regardless whether the nipple was shown or not. To start off I have Today I Became a Woman by Gunnar Dahl guy, obviously. <laughs> we have a nipple here, two nipples, so that's great. Uh, I th thought it was kind of funny, just because the book is called Today I Became a Woman, and then this is the author. <laughs> Next, another nipple, uh, A Woman Dies, this one's called, by Ottar Guðmundsson, another guy. Uh, and he is also on the back of the cover. We can obviously see a nipple there. This one is about a writer and the women in his life. And then I found The Eighth Victim by Birgitta Hauhaldurstotir. At first when I saw this I thought it was very sexual, but after reading the title I realized that of course she's not being sexy on the bed, she's dead. Um, and as I should have guessed because of the guy in the back there, he looks kind of horrified. And he shouldn't be that horrified by the nipples. It's just nipples. It's all good. Stop being so scared of the nipples. No, he's he's freaking out because there's a dead chick on his bed. Okay, with the title and the cover I just thought this was kind of funny because this is the cover and the title is In All Its Nakedness or In All One's Nudity. Uh, it's by Runar Helgi Vignesson, a guy again, uh, and you cannot see the nipple, it's just out of reach right here and so just because the title is about complete nakedness and then the cover just cuts off right there this one's kind of great under the sign of the capricorn by snjólaug bragadóttir frá skjaldalek i like how incredibly tiny that bikini is i mean most bikinis have a kind of material that stops the protruding nipple from showing but that just seems like a tiny bit of some cloth just tied around her. So it's not nude, but there sure is a nipple on that cover. <laughs> I also like the guy in the back in his sexy pose. This one, very dramatic. The woman that challenged fate. It's very blue, very sad. She's very naked, but also covering the nipples. It's by Trikwe Emilson. And another book by a male author where the woman is hiding her shame. This one is Almanak Jolvina Fjallagsins by Olaver Haukur Simonsson. And she sure is pregnant, hiding those nipples, and has a ghost of a dove floating around her. This one's kind of nice. I'm not sure how to translate this one, but I guess The Middle and the Swamp by Ragnvaldur S. Möller. Uh, I think this one's pretty interesting because of how it's drawn. And you got your nipples down there in the middle on a very beautiful sleeping lady. And <laughs> I just noticed I like how the old guy up there is kind of looking straight down as if he's looking at her glorious nipples. Cool. This is probably my um, favorite one. I don't know if favorite is the right word, but it's the most interesting one. I thought. Uh, it doesn't show a nipple, but
but that's fine. Um, it's called The Nude Picture by Helgi Jonsson. The cover on its own maybe isn't that special, but the thing that got me interested about the cover is what's on the back. It says, every girl has a body. Yes, every girl does have a body, uh, but it continues. Fjola Lind, just a name for a girl, is 14. Almost 15. Nice. And independent girl. And just with that cover, that's really creepy. Uh, the, the word that is used to describe her is flot, which is kind of just, you know, nice, cool, like, yeah, that looks good. But to be fair, this is a thriller about uh, someone using a naked picture of her against her and something like that and even has a blood here on the back so maybe it's supposed to be creepy and then lastly this cover is not I can't really say that it's Icelandic because it's a painting um, that is not Icelandic but it's pretty so I'm keeping it in uh, set a love story by Vigdís Grimsdóttir and Full frontal nipples right there. So free the nipple, I think it's totally ridiculous that female bodies are censored where male bodies are not for the same thing. And I mean, we're arguing about fat and warts. I hope that in the future, if someone doesn't like wearing a bra or wants to go topless because it's hot outside or for ever what else reason, I hope that it will be accepted Then people can just do what they want because boobs are not inherently sexual and they shouldn't be censored just because they're on a woman instead of a man. It's really sexist and ridiculous and it kind of needs to stop. So that was my small contribution to the free the nipple and yeah, bye. All girls have bodies.